Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matsuro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now this video is all about on how to install the appearance mod menu inside your cyberpunk folder. So like always make sure that you download and install the appearance menu mod and I will leave this inside my description below. All you got to do is scroll down then go to files and now go and download the manual download. Now there will be requirements but just follow these steps and now we will be installing these requirements. As for Cyber Engine Tweaks, I did a video about this recently. I will leave that tutorial inside my description below. So go and watch that first before you watch this tutorial video. Download your mod and now Go and scroll down and slow download. Wait for a few seconds and now download it to your desktop. Next, this mod does require codeware and I will leave this inside my description below. Scroll down, go to files and scroll down and download the manual download. And then now download over here and now scroll down and now download the slow download and now download it to your desktop next codeware does require red text so I will leave this inside my description below scroll down go to files then scroll down and now download the manual version scroll down slow download and now download it to your desktop this video was requested by the viewers and it's easy to install so like what i said before if you haven't installed cyber engine tweaks i will leave a tutorial video inside my description below so go and watch that first before you do carry on with this video so first okay Go to your Cyberpunk game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now next, go to your Cyberpunk 2077 main folder. This is your main directory. Next, open up your red text extract folder. Then now next, go to your bin folder. Go to your time 64. Then go to your game folder, then go to your bin folder, then go to your time 64 and now simply select the DLL file and drag it inside your 64 folder, okay? Now go back to your Cyberpunk 2077 main directory and now next go back to your extract folder and now next you'll see a red text all you gotta do is just select that folder and drag it to your main directory like that now exit out of your extract folder next open up your codeware extract folder and now you'll need to go to your red text folder go to plugins now next go to your red text folder inside your game folder then go to plugins and now go back to your extract folder and simply select your code we are folder and drag it inside your plugins then now go back to your main directory now next exit out of your extract folder and now that's all you got to do lastly open up your appearance menu mod extract folder 
Now go to your archive, go to PC, and now simply go back to your game folder, go to archive, go to PC, and simply go back to your extract folder, select your mod folder, and then just drop it inside your PC folder over here, like this, okay? And now go back to your main directory, go to your bin folder, go to your time64 CET or whatever um, time64 you have got and now go to your plugins and now go to cyber engine tweaks go to mods now go back to your mod folder um, sorry not mod folder now go back to your extract folder go to your bin time64 plugins cyber engine tweaks mods and now simply select this folder and drop it inside your mods folder to exit out of your extract folder and now all you got to do is exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game and now we are in the game so the next thing that you got to do is to open up your appearance mod menu so to open up your appearance mod menu is the key that you did when you set up the cyber engine tweaks so press on that key and now when you press on that key okay it will say on your menu close so you click on close okay and now you'll see this Okay, we've got scan, spawn, swap, decor, poses, tools, director, and settings. You can come to your settings tab, and now you can set up your mod menu to whatever you want. Change the color, change the style, you name it. I'm going to leave everything as default, because I do not want to go through this whole menu for you. So if you want to check out this whole mod menu, download it and install it yourself and see for yourself i will only show you two or three things that's all now the main thing is your tools this is your main your main menu okay because inside your tools you got uh, general actions you can uh, make all npcs around you friendly you can make them follow you you can make them all die or etc we got teleporting actions. You can teleport to any location you want around the map. Or you can save your current location. We got time action. You can stop time, you can freeze time, you can slow time and you can speed time. Now over here is V's action. You can go in, in passive mode, god mode, or infinite oxygen and etc. And we got spawn now with spawn you can spawn any character in the game just say for an example let's say go to main character and now let's say if you want to spawn Judy and Judy will be right in front of you right there and Judy will follow you wherever you go uh, yeah she will follow you wherever you go and even if you teleport she will teleport right next to you so that is judy you can spawn jackie if you want to it's totally up to you when you have finished with your character you can despawn them by removing them and now they will go away now teleport okay uh, when you go to tools go to teleport action you can go to select location okay and just say for an example um uh arasaka tower ceo level like that okay and now come over here and i'll teleport to location and now just wait for a few seconds and now here we are We are over here basically now you, you can't do anything in here okay because there's nothing to do in here 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And now we're back at V's apartment. So that's the mod, guys. I showed you two or three things. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy using this mod menu. And now we're back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy using that mod. But like always, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. I am more active inside my Discord server. So I'll leave my Discord server link inside my description below so you guys can get more help and support. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials, and I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.